Oftentimes, restaurant owners and leaders think their culture is one thing, but in actuality, it's much different. Company culture can be such a complicated and loaded topic, and at first glance, it might seem like we're all overcomplicating it a bit more than necessary. In reality, though, it's just incredibly difficult to get right, especially when so many people, crew members and managers and customers and vendors, are exposed to it and influence it. Over the years, I have witnessed some of the strongest, most amazing cultures, and I've also seen some that are just bad. And on today's show, I want to share 10 things that are oftentimes signs of a bad culture. Number one, they have a disorganized or just weird interviewing process. When there is no structure or a process at the very beginning, this can definitely be a sign that the company is not organized or they don't really put a lot of effort or care into who they hire. Multiple seemingly unnecessary interviews, a lack of follow-up, rescheduling interviews, all big red flags. Number two, they can't communicate their core values. Creating your own unique vision and mission and purpose statements and defining your values should be a part of your restaurant's business plan. Unfortunately, many restaurant leaders gloss over this process without much thought and they really should be doing the opposite. When you take the time to define your values, it makes it clear who you are, what you're doing, where you're going, and why you're doing it. Number three, they offer low pay and no benefits. When you don't take great care of your people and you underpay them and you don't provide them benefits that will help them have a better life, quite simply, you won't retain people and you won't have success building a loyal team. Number four, they believe company perks are the culture. Offering perks and benefits are definitely a way to add the fun to the company, but perks are not what makes a strong company culture. Perks and benefits are no substitute for terrible managers and leaders. Number five, they don't provide feedback or communicate well. Ongoing feedback, positive and constructive, and consistent, clear communication company-wide is the key to any business's success. Yet too often, it's an area that many restaurant leaders simply don't get right. But when you prioritize communication and you dedicate the necessary time and energy and resources required to get everyone on the same page, huge gains can be made. Greater communication leads to improved access to information, upticks in employee recognition and appreciation, deeper engagement and relationships, and all around a better culture. Number six, they put policies over people. When you don't connect with and care about your people and all the problems and situations are solved based on what is outlined in your employee handbook, you won't have success building the loyalty that you want. Policies matter, yes, but always remember your employees are people and they have situations that are unique. Lead and care with compassion and you will have much better success at a shot of building a strong culture and loyalty. Number seven, they lack simple systems and processes. One important way of having huge people success is simple people systems. Having well-designed systems and processes to aid with hiring, firing, and everything in between is invaluable. Number eight, they don't focus on training and development. Some restaurant leaders believe a focus on training and development is a nice to have, and I disagree with this. A focus on training, coaching, and developing everyone on your team will pay off huge over time. Doing this right will deliver big results. Your employees will gain the knowledge and skills needed to perform their best. They will better understand how to exceed the expectations with your customers, and they will help you in running better restaurants. Number nine, they lack strong leadership. Great leadership starts with making emotional connections and being a good person. When this is lacking, your culture will be impacted. And then number 10, they have a revolving door. Yes, turnover in the restaurant industry is high, but when you have crazy amounts of turnover all of the time, it's impossible to build a strong culture. Your culture is a huge deal and it will greatly influence your success. It impacts your team, your customers, and even the community in which you operate. Simply putting a blurb about culture in your handbook or saying you have a family culture is just not enough. Take the time to periodically evaluate your cultural vision and make sure it aligns with the reality. <laughs>